Service. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm your boy, Bigfoot88, and um, welcome back to this awesome channel. Uh, today's video is another request video by one of the Instagram homies, Firebird Austin, and I'll put his info down in the box down below so you guys can go ahead, you know, check him out, hit him up, get some follows, get some likes, spread the love, you know? Also, check out this dope new hat. Uh, my halo, yes, I received it in the mail today, and honestly, I love this hat. It's awesome. All black, you know, subtle writing right here on the side, goes with anything, matches whatever you got on, styling and profiling, right? Right. Um, today's video is pretty much going to be about how I put my Mandalorian helmet together. Um, that one honestly was, it was, it was kind of tough because the request was how I took it apart, how I put it back together, which um, I can do how I did the visor, and I can pretty much talk about, you know, like the little changes I made here or there, but I can't take it apart and put it back together because after I took it apart and took the original visor out and put it back together, I kind of super glued everything <laughs> back together. Um, so let's get to it. All right, big break. All right, so first things first. Uh, this was one of the um, Ruby's Deluxe Boba Fett two-piece helmet. And as you can see, I had the dent filled in um, over time, but it just kind of fell back in, so I'm, like, I'm going to have to refill that. But as you can see, this is the helmet itself. All right, so, um, you know, it's easy. It's, it's pretty easy to put that together once you take it apart. Uh, right here where the ear caps are, right here and over here, these pop off pretty easy. It's little um, connection tabs that hold them on there. So, you know, you can, uh, you can pop them off if you do plan on getting one of these and making uh, modifications to it. Um, I had the range finder, but I took it off because, one, it was too short to be an actual, you know, kind of like functioning range finder. It did go up and down, but I just, I like the look of the helmet without it, right? So I took that off, I filled that in. And like I said, I kind of, you know, I super glued everything back on here. But um, it, it's pretty easy when it comes to taking it apart. Also, the blinkers in the front aren't lined up. So once you go to um, modules, you're going to have to straighten that out. I mean, I lined them up on mine. But I'm saying when you first get the helmet, you know, everything's kind of off center. Um, the original visor piece that was in the helmet, it's, it's a pretty good sturdy piece of plastic and honestly I really wish I hadn't messed that one up because I could have just tinted that one I had went through and just testing out different looks I put like when the visor was in like this top part here I had tinted with permanent marker the bottom part down here I had used the um the VHT nightshade lens spray not the best idea because gas will take it off but it'll end up like messing up the rest of the visor which I ended up having to go through and just break the visor to get it out because if you're going to take it out and replace it use a Dremel which is kind of like a um it's, it's got a handle on it and it's got like a little rotary like saw at the end part where you can, you could kind of like, I think you could switch out for like a file or something. But that comes in handy when you need to take the visor piece out. And as you can see, like I said, mine's taken out. You know, I had to pretty much break it out and destroy it because the gas got on the plastic and messed it all up and everything. So that's how I got the visor piece out. And then I went through, I repainted, and it's like, it's actually four different colors on here. Um, besides the original Boba Fett helmet that's on here, the color scheme, 
I just went ahead and just left it on there. You know, I figured, hey, if I have to ding it up, you know, scratch it up, there, there's more layers of paint. But um, it's a glacier white with a um, gloss black, and then there's the kind of like flat semi-gloss brown, and then the red is on there. And then to kind of like grunge it up some, I oversprayed some black and brown like all over the helmet. Now, to get these nifty little looks, what I did was I painted the, the original, like the base color, right? And then I took some Vaseline, rubbed it kind of like in that spot. And then when I added the second coat, all the rest of that dried, but where the Vaseline was at, it didn't dry. So then I just wiped that off, you know? And then added more Vaseline around like that second color. And just kind of, you know, kind of kept doing that to, you know, kind of like tape off the area and get the semi-battle look almost. But um, now the inside, if you look in, I still have the foam uh, inner ring just for like, you know, when I wear it. But you'll notice like that blue that's in there. <laughs> um, that is the control box to the EL wire that I have like in, in right here in between the visor area. Um, let me see if you can notice it. All right, so it's on. I'm not sure if you can, you'll be able to tell that it's, it's kind of on, like right in that area. Yeah, yeah, you can tell it's on. Um, there's three different modes for that. Like I said, there's a constant, a flash, and then there's like a, a, a faster flash. Um, this helmet, honestly, come, it, it's really good, and it does come in handy as a good starter helmet. I know there's a lot of scratch builds out there, which one day I hope to be good enough to build a whole line of scratch build helmets, which is pretty much where you do it by hand with the cardboard frame, add the Bondo, paint, seal it, all that. Um, but this is a really good starter because... Not only does it have room when the visor is installed for me to have my glasses on, I have these Bluetooth headphones, which are like over-the-air headphones, which I, I wear when I have this on also, which helps keep it from, you know, bobbling all over the place. Plus, like I said, it gives me that connectivity to my phone if I need to take a call, answer a call, or if I just want to listen to music. Um, I do plan on installing, you know, maybe some fans, uh, two of the little small computer fans later on because when the other visor was installed I'll be talking or breathing or walking and everything just fogs up can't see nothing um now the first replacement visor I did uh, it broke into three separate pieces when I was doing the middle of the shaping process which I was like okay you know no big deal um, just kind of like super glued those back together and this was the visor it, well it, I have the uh, I have the 5% tint film on here also as well to make it where you know pretty much I can see out people can't see in you know type deal but um oh, that's glued on there but yeah this was the the first replacement visor piece like I said, it broke into three pieces, but I mean, it was sturdy. It served its purpose. I had glue, I had super glued it back in, and then this, like I said, was the 5%, you know, tent film where I can see through it and see everything, but people can't see in to, you know, see your identity, right? So, uh, what I, this is the visor I redid today, and it's pretty much made out of, I want to say acrylic almost. But it's actually super clear. <laughs> and it's really sturdy, really good to see through. I'm going to add the tint film to it um, once I super glue it back into the helmet. And, you know, pretty much be good to go from there. Um, I hope that was somewhat helpful. And got you guys in somewhat of the right direction you were heading in. Um... I will also include the Mandalorian Mercs uh, link and website down in the description box below. I'll put the Dented Helmet, which is also another good website for those of you who are looking for um, canon Boba Fett, Jango Fett type stuff, or those of you who are looking to, you know, build your own uh, Mondo armor. Um, 
I'll put the link for tvisor.com down there where they sell replacement uh, visors for your helmets. And if I think of any more that go along with this, I will include them in the description box down below. Um, I think this video ran kind of long, but, uh, you know, got to get the info to the people, get people what they need, right? Right. Also, if you have questions on, you know, the setup that I'm using, it's the Hexome uh, by Craven Vapor. I got it through Good Life Vapor, but this is the version uh, 2.1. I'm running the Hellboy RDA with a single coil setup, and I am vaping on Halo's uh, new, you know, high VG version of Malibu, which a little bottle came with the hat. I just went ahead and just added it in to <laughs> the bottle I had because, hey, Halo knows Malibu is my favorite off their flavor lineup, and I will tell anyone, anytime, any day, What's a good flavor to try? Malibu. Also, try Devlin. Devlin is epic. But, hey, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know it ran a little long, probably. I know this is also being posted up a little bit late. And it wasn't on Monday like I intended for it to be. So, happy belated Mondo Monday for all my Mercs fans and Star Wars fans out there. I'll catch you guys latest.